I definitely don't have my life figured out, but I know these things. My identity, my values, my goals. Hi, I'm Robin. Come spend a day with me. I'll share what I've learned about who I am, what I value, and what I'm creating this month through blogging. I'm 34, I'm a black woman, and I'm a creative. I come from a black creative legacy. Chefs, artists, architects, singers in my lineage. And I've wanted to be a creative entrepreneur my entire life. I've also been tall pretty much my entire life, which at six foot two impacts my daily life. I was bullied badly as a kid partly for being tall. But by the time I was 13 and six foot two, I learned to have pride and embrace what made me different, spectacular. I grew up in Prince George's County, Maryland, just outside of DC. I grew up without a ton of money, but I always had a wealth of opportunities. And I always had a lot of love and intellectual freedom for my family. I could talk back, I could ask questions, and I could figure out the right way to do things. I'm a nerd. My older sister gave me a really good early childhood education. So much so I could read practically anything by age three, but when I started doing her homework, the teachers could tell the handwriting was different. School used to be very easy for me. And in high school, I was super laser focused and surrounded by nerd friends. I'm probably some kind of neurodivergent, maybe ADHD, but the diagnosis really just comes from memes. I'm a Columbia University grad. I had the power to study everything that I wanted to learn while I was there. And I absolutely benefited from the community. But I feel like I learned more, or at least I retain more from what I learned from internships and leadership positions than my time in the classroom. I really love learning new skills. I'm a New Yorker. I moved to New York City in 2006 for college and I've lived all over. Morningside Heights, Flatbush, Brooklyn, Astoria, Queens, Harlem, Crown Heights, and Washington Heights now. I'm an American. I discovered this identity more as I lived and traveled abroad. First in China in 2007 while I was learning Mandarin, then in London in 2018 while I was working abroad, I've traveled to more than 20 countries, but as I've lived in diverse communities, I've understood that American isn't the title, it's Black American, because my culture as a Black American is very different. I'm a former kind of current cooking blogger with Runaway Apricot. I used to be extremely passionate about creating and sharing recipes that would help my generation to access healthy food. Now I channel more of that energy into sewing. I'm a sewist. This week is actually my seven year anniversary of learning to sew. Sew clothes at least. And now I'm approaching five years without buying clothes. I'm a sewing teacher. I have a class on Skillshare that's made for people like me who buy a sewing machine and then spend a long time too nervous to actually sew anything. I'm a sewing pattern designer. 
I sell a few patterns on my own and I just published my first pattern through Talco Magazine. I'm a fashion designer. I just launched Robin Bandele. It's a creative professional clothing line for tall women. I'm trying to give more women like me, women who are tall, access to fashion that empowers. Something that we really don't have at this height. Sometimes I'm still a blogger and a writer. I really enjoy the creative expression of writing. I'm a retention marketing consultant, aka Resourceful Robin. My career has totally been on the tech side of marketing. I do email marketing and omni-channel communications and customer lifecycle. I'm really into data science and have been for years. And more and more, I'm into branding and graphic design and really that whole picture of retention. I'm an event planner. I've always loved hosting events, but now I host New York City Frocktails, which has become the biggest party for people who sew, maybe on the planet. Kind of crazy. I'm straight and I'm single, but I don't have any kids yet. I just haven't found anyone yet who matches my values and treats me the way I deserve to be treated. I'm a cat mama. Aria is 13 and she's been with me for 11 years. So what are my values? Number one, I'm anti-consumerist, which kind of makes me an anti-influencer influencer. I find it hard to monetize my voice because most consumption is exploitative of people or resources. I care about sustainability but not as a marketing tactic to sell more. I believe in spending less and valuing more and really wasting less. I'm very economically efficient, AKA cheap. Since I was 13, I've always needed to support my own needs. So I save. I aspire to a comfortable life, but not a fancy life. I value creating over purchasing. And the only label I care about wearing is my own. I mean, this is my own design. I believe in transparency. I'm an open book. I always have public profiles and I never delete anything on my Instagram because I try to live my life re without regrets. Sure, sometimes that means that I overthink and undershare. Creative work is vulnerable though. I respect the hell out of everyone that shares their creative truth here on these internets. I'm a cultural relativist. I have a BA in anthropology and I don't remember everything that I learned, but one concept that really stood out was cultural relativism. It basically means not judging another culture by one's own standard of what is right, normal, or moral. No one should impose their values on others. No one's belief system is more valuable than another's. Diversity is important in every room. I value when people are authentic and when they create safe spaces for me and others to be our full selves. I value freedom. To the outside, I probably look like I have a very independent life. You know, being single and not having kids yet. I'm very particular about having the opportunity to choose how I spend my own time. That's part of why I'm an entrepreneur, but the other side is just hitting a glass ceiling at work. I'm really not comfortable with the breadth and depth of my skill set and my experience being exploited and then undervalued. I can work with everyone who respects me, but that's not a low standard. I define and evaluate my own success based on how much control and freedom I have in my own life. After climbing corporate ladders and achieving that once held goal of making six figures in my career, I've been redefining what success means to me in my 30s. Outside of capitalism and income, what does it really mean for me to be successful? And again, that's control and freedom over my own life. So let me tell you what my goals are for participating in Vlogmas. First, I just want to romanticize my life way more. I'm living here in New York City and all of the Christmas movies are about this place and I have such access to going out and exploring and even just exploring myself, but I need an impetus to go out there. I need an impetus to explore and really romanticize what I'm doing here. Next, I want to create a routine and also observe my routine more. Working for myself and being home alone, sometimes I lose my routine, but 
It'd be nice to reflect back on how I spent my time. I want to get dressed more. That seems so simple, but since the pandemic, I haven't really needed to dress up in my style, dress up in the clothes that I've made very often. So this will give me an opportunity to explore more of my wardrobe and, and get dressed more. I want to start uniting my creative interests in one place. I told you I'm a sewing blogger and a digital marketer and a cooking blogger and I love interior design and I love art and I love so many things. So how can I bring that all together in one place? I want to practice my storytelling. I feel like I ramble and I just want to figure out how to communicate better. I want to become more shameless. There's that overthinking thing. Oh, will they like me? Is it going to be okay? How do I cope? I just want to be able to do the things that I want to do without fearing others' reaction. And so being vulnerable and creating videos is a good start for that. I want to reflect on 2023 in a meaningful way and set my goals for 2024. And lastly, to start back at the top, I want to get into the holiday spirit and enjoy the holidays here in New York City with my friends and just with this space that I call home. Thanks for joining me and learning more about me. I'll be posting throughout the month for Vlogmas. So follow for more perspectives on my life, my creative pursuits and my businesses. For daily doses, also follow me on Instagram. Until next time, thanks for being here and I'll see you soon. You're chilling with the rain. You're some kind of butterfly. Baby, you give me a good night. You whip up my appetite. Don't leave me alone.